most people would do anything to stay out of jail. Brubaker is the story of a man who willingly decided to go in undercover as an inmate. It's based on the true story of Thomas Merton, who was hired to reform prison farms in Arkansas in the late 60s. Incidentally, Merton was hired as the film's technical advisor. See this? This thing is gone. If an uh, inmate is to attempt an escape, should we just sort of wave so long or shoot it? Robert Redford, one of the premier male sex symbols of the 1970s, brings all of his trademark charisma and believability to the role. It's as though he doesn't really need to act, because we believe that everything that Redford does, he cares passionately about. Morgan Freeman is equally impressive in a small role that kick-started his film career. I am the man. I am. I am the man. I'm the new warden here. My name's Henry Brubeck. And how come you look like a scumbag? Because I'm fooling those guys out there. The depiction of prison life is not as hardcore as it might have been in real life. The omission of drug use is one such aspect. Protein. You'd be hard pressed to find anybody today who's surprised by corruption in prison. But in the 1980s, it was a highly controversial topic. Brubaker's legacy was to expose audiences to issues within the prison system. In particular, themes of corruption, racism and abuse of human rights.